Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to do a strobe effect or a flashing light inside Premiere Pro. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's an example. There we go, we got flashing lights and we've got a strobe effect. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Let's just get started here. So I'm going to go from step one to step zero. Now I've got a very short piece of footage because it's very CPU intensive. No worries, we're going to delete that composition and we're going to start with the standard footage. So I'm going to drag and drop this piece of footage into the timeline. Excellent. And you'll see here it's the same stuff. I'm only going to do about three seconds or so of footage just because it's very CPU intensive and I don't want to get bogged down with all sorts of CPU stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm also going to make the snapping on as well. I took the snapping off by accident and I'm going to put it back on. Okay, good. So here's the footage. The next step here is you want to go up to your effects panel. If you don't see that, go to window. Make sure there's a check mark beside effects. And under effects, type in, yeah, it's original, strobe. And what you get is you get video effects stylized strobe light. Drag and drop strobe light and drop it onto the footage. When you do that, you're going to get some random strobe light effect here. In the effect controls panel, you're going to get random flashy strobes. And it's going to be rhythmic and it's not really what we want so let me just go ahead and show you what that looks like I'm gonna hit spacebar here and you'll see that it's just blinking white and then off and on off and on we don't want that that isn't very convincing so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and increase the random strobe probability so I'm gonna keep it around 30 percent so that means basically there's a 30 percent chance that any one period of time that a random strobe will flash in. So you can already see that we've got some pretty cool looking strobe and flashing when we hit the space bar. Okay, let's hold on. There we go. There we go. So it's pretty random looking, pretty good. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to change the strobe color. This is an important one for me. Left click on it and then left click on the eyedropper tool. And what we want to do is we want to get a light color. Let's go here. Let's take a color from the shot because what happens is, is when you take it just straight white, which is the original color, it doesn't look very convincing to me because it's not a very good, it, it just, it's high contrast and that bright of white just doesn't make sense to me. So what I've done is I've selected a color from the video here already and then I'm going to move out and I'm going to move it down a little bit towards the lighter spectrum. So something like this, this is a light that I would expect to see in the video. So let's hit spacebar and now it's a little bit more convincing in my personal opinion. The next step is we're going to go ahead and we're going to change the blend with original. This is a very important piece and the reason and what you want to do here is you actually want to animate this over time and we want it to be very random because that's what a strobe light to me it's not always the same you know sometimes it's really bright sometimes it's a, a subtle flash so what we'll do here is we're going to go ahead and click on that uh, toggle animation switch. Left click on it. This animates it. Now I'm going to start it off on 0% and then every three or four frames, I'm going to step forward a frame, one, two, three, and then I'm going to increase the blend. So I'm going to increase it to like 80%. And then I'm going to move forward three more steps, one, two, three, and then I'm going to decrease it to 13 or, or I'm going to decrease it to like 15% or something like that. And what we're doing here is we're just changing the amount, the, the strength of the light. So it always changes. So now I'm going to blend it up higher again. I'm going to bring it up. And this is kind of random. I'm just sort of doing this however I think makes sense. So I'm just going to keep going a few more frames. Go four frames forward. Put it down four frames forward. I'm going to put it in the middle. And again, this is very, very random. But the point is, is that's what we want from a strobe light. We want it to be a randomly flashing random strength light. So I'm going to go down quite low here, down to the something like 33, and then I'm going to go forward a few more frames, and I'm going to drop it up to like 77. I'm going to go a few more frames. You see what I'm doing here, guys? I'm basically just animating this, and what you'll see here is when I stretch this out, you'll see here all of these keyframes. So let's go ahead and show you the first second or so of what we've got now. So I'm going to go to Sequence, Render in to out and this will now render all of the frames so that you're not getting a RAM preview 
janky. Uh, if you if you do it from RAM, it can be a little bit janky. I guess that's the right word. It's a little slow and it doesn't show you the effect the right way. So let's go ahead and render it out. And then when you do that, the top bar here is going to go from red to green. And that basically means that the effects are rendered and you're seeing it the way you're supposed to see it. All right, here we go. Flash, flash, flash. There we go. Now we have this cool random color. We got this random flash strobe effect and it actually looks pretty believable. If you want to change the frequency and the duration of the strobe, so if you want it to last less than 0.5 seconds and maybe you want to do it 0.2, let's go to point, let's go to like 0.2 and then the strobe period will go to 0.1. I'll just show you in a different look and let's go ahead and look at that and see what it looks like. I'll hit spacebar and then hopefully it'll play it. It'll play it a little bit in RAM preview at the beginning. Not to worry, here we go again. This should be a little better. Okay. So this has a faster flickery light to it. And finally, guys, I will show you one more thing while I got you. You will notice here that for the strobe operator, it's set to copy. But if you want a subtle effect, set it to multiply. And now watch. I'm going to even reduce the size a little more because I'm going to render it into out. If you change the, the strobe operator to multiply, it's a very subtle flicker. And it's very, very believable. I'm going to go ahead and render into out. This is the last piece that I'll show you here, guys. Thank you for uh, bearing along with me. Let's go and show you the strobe operator multiply. And then, yeah, this is also a very believable strobe effect, although it's quite subtle. You see, this is very, very subtle. I'll hit spacebar again. Very subtle, but it has that nice little flicker. Very, very nice for, for scary movies and cinema. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon.